Hey everyone, this is Megha and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a watercolor artist based in Bangalore, India. And on my channel, you can find a variety of watercolor videos like from flowers to realistic to very simple beginner friendly tutorials. So if you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And in this video, we are just going to paint this yellow flower which I just picked up during my morning walk and we will just try and paint this very loosely. So here are my materials. I'm using my number six Princeton brush and then I have the flower. I have 100% cotton watercolor paper. I have two jars of water here, some tissue and then I have my watercolors from Daniel Smith so they are here so let's go ahead and start our painting and I have my watercolor card here so let's start with it so for this we are not going to draw it I'm just going to very loosely paint it I'm just picking up some green and then just doing this since we are not drawing it so very loosely just following the shape that I'm seeing here in this flower and not too much of green also because mostly brownish we'll just get this shape here and then we'll take some brown Pansana and then do this part of the flower with that We can't see that much also like from where I am sitting <laughs> and then we just go ahead and do the petals just using some lemon yellow for that it just goes in some hard shape like this and then first we'll just uh, randomly draw the shape the petals and then the last one here sorry there's one more so we'll do this and then the last one here like this so we'll just spread this color out up some color from here and then again we will put some yellow here also just blend this in and then on our stem we'll go back to it and I'm just taking some brown and you can just add it here a little on the stem as well then we take a little black just on the tip of the brush add that little and then we will just do some blending here some black here and then we'll come back to first we'll do this so I'm taking some brown and since I said it's a very loose style so we are not going to add too much details to it so I'll just add a little brown here and then as you can see some lines in this so I'll just go ahead and paint those. Just define this a little. 
give a little dark here and then just make some lines like this and then here all also you can see a nice fold and then lots of fine lines so just make sure you don't have too much water on the brush and your brush has a nice point if you want to add a little black for a slightly darker shade of the brown and like this this part is done and then again take a little and we'll do some on the petals or for the inside so this should appear as if it's coming from the center from here like this so for now this is enough and we'll just lighten this up little bit dark just lightening it up a little and then once this dries a little we'll uh, do these lines again because now if you do they will spread too much I'm just doing a little and then for this part we have to show some shadow here to be a little dark from here also adding a little black so we don't want to put too much just a bit of shadow cleaning up a little from here and then we'll just go ahead and add more yellow to it so here on the petals so all of it just once we'll do some yellow so like this when you go on your morning walks or when you are going out just you can keep an eye for the stuff which you can collect on the way and then you can just bring it home and try to paint it it can be anything it can be berries it can be twigs or flowers or anything that you find and i absolutely love doing that so my eyes are always like if i can find something that i can take home and i can just relax and paint at home so i just love doing that and now I'm just mixing a little orangish to the yellow so we have this and then we can just do like this for the darker part of the flower so a few twists and turns you can show up With this shade since this petal is mostly twisted so all this part will do a little dark and a little bit for this one as well yeah so for now it looks a little bit weird but you have to wait till the end So twist it here and here so that's it and then we'll come back to our lemon yellow and we will just blend this with a yellow So that's what watercolor involves a lot of layering so you might see that uh, what's the use of putting it if you are going ahead and blending it like that 
so but it's the end result that matters so it's a process that you have to follow and that's what will make your painting look nicer okay so that's it for this thing and i think we have to wait a little for it to dry so that we can again go ahead and highlight the browns and here where you see a little shadow there also we'll go and put a little brown here where you have where we have put the twisted uh, petals so just a very little little blending if it is needed and then more yellow can go here So whenever you are painting something like this, you, like this, you have to enjoy the process. Don't worry too much about how perfect it is looking or don't compare it with anybody. So that's why when you take pick out this uh, realistic subjects like this, then first thing is that you will not the, make the mistakes which somebody else has made if you are just taking their painting and recreating it. And this way it gives you more liberty to do it and you are able to express yourself in a better way. And you learn a lot when you paint this way so just don't worry uh, start with something very simple like maybe a dry leaf which has very minimal colors maybe only one or two or three shades so just start with that and then just uh, on the way just go ahead and keep on exploring your creativity just sanding a little bit and then we'll just wait for it to dry and then we'll add the final details to it Okay, now this has dried nicely so we'll just put some final touches of taking some brown and then we'll just do that again this time we are not blending it so we have to be really careful about nice getting nice fine lines so just follow whatever you see on your flower When you have some, uh, something realistic like this in front of your eyes, you can always touch it and twist and turn it and see how it looks. So that makes the process even more fun. Just outlining these as well just a little then again a little darker here And then you can just judge for yourself like if you want to go ahead and do more work on it or if you think yeah it looks nice and you want to stop then you can just go ahead and stop so like this you can see it from the top but i'm seeing it from this side so it looks a little different from here and just add some more shadow here so for here you can take very little black and then put that here then a little bit touching on this here a little darker and a last touch of yellow to just brighten this up
be a little quick and don't rub your brush again and again otherwise you will lose the brown details that you have put so this is just to add a little more brightness to the yellow yeah so we did start as a like a loose style painting but i think we have achieved at least a semi-realistic one on this one but that's okay this it's still not difficult and it's still very relaxing and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like my work don't forget to hit the subscribe button you can also check out my skillshare classes in which i have a series of pick and paint and there is a lot of realistic and semi-realistic tutorials there and you can also check out a few free resources that i have linked in the description below and Till next Friday, I wish you happy painting, take care and bye-bye.